I'm Mark Sutton, I'm the Chief Digital Officer, um, and in this short video, I'd like to give you an update on all things technology, data and insight, one year since the launch of CQC's new strategy. Thank you, yes, I think oh, data is a, a, a really interesting word, and I think um, sometimes, unfortunately, that word, which is so important to us, can trigger um, feelings of um, you know, this is this is something. This is a loss of control, or this is a um, a, um, a, a a negative word that 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 means that we've got a loss of that kind of human human interaction, which I think is a great shame because actually, the the and, and, and perhaps we should come up with some some different wording around this. But the, the 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 way that I like to view data is that that's enormously empowering way of us being able to capture the incredibly important professional judgment and observational skills of our regulatory colleagues and bring that into our systems and that becomes um, our our organizational memory it's the way that we can the way we can empower we can magnify the um, incredible experience that our colleagues have so I think um, you know data is is increasingly as we use our systems to be able to capture and, and empower that data that regulatory organizational knowledge um, uh, will be will be enormously powerful and and liberating for colleagues and I think um, uh, it's it's an exciting time that we're going into now where we are really going to have the systems that enable our colleagues to really make the most use of data you know not not just to um, be able to share their data in ways in their regulatory information in consistent ways um, but also you know that will that will help reduce the overall burden of administration for our colleagues as well so very very important but i think important not not to be scared by the word so uh well we've done a lot um it's it's been a a really fast and furious time for a lot of colleagues in technology and in data and insight um we 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 have built a lot of the foundation of the new technology that's really going to um, uh, massively support our regulatory colleagues and enable us to provide that that smarter regulation service be able to implement the new assessment framework and be able to create the new services that we want for providers and for and for the public um, and that framework is uh, our core regulatory platform which is a place that we will be able to um, capture all of the information in a way that is, um, is is meaningful to colleagues and easily accessible all in one place. Um, it is the way that we will be able to provide a, a digital mechanism for an engagement with our providers, which I know they are very keen um, from conversations with them to, to, to kind of embrace that. And they're really looking forward to um, being able to work in a, in a much more modern way um, with us. So, um, uh, and, and, and a sig significant amount of work across um, the the different transformation work streams working together so it's not just the technology but it's the technology aligned with how do we implement the single assessment framework it's how do we work with the new um, the new organizational structures and the new focus around regions the focus around ICS is um, so it's all coming together the, the 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 foundations are there and we are getting towards the stage where we can start to trial that out with providers um, and, and external parties to, to see how it, it lands, to get feedback. We are delivering this in a in a phased way that iterates, that allows us to get feedback as we go along, that allows us to improve the experience for our colleagues internally um, and, to, and to make their lives a lot easier. So you know, we're, we, we've done a, a really substantial part of this and we're getting to the exciting part now where we are and now starting to release some of this and, and and test it get feedback and iterate and improve it um, and we and we were working not just internally we've been working with people outside the, the organization as well we've been working with uh, representatives of the public we've been working with um, providers um, to make sure that we deliver something that's going to land really well so i i mean i think there's been a lot of work by colleagues across the organization on 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 this um, and on implementing all aspects of the new strategy um, for for what has been many years now 
we are now getting to that really exciting point where it's all starting to come together. So what I'm really looking forward to is how how this um, actually gets implemented in practice, because it is going to make such a material difference to um, our colleagues. It's it's really going to make their life a lot easier. It's going to mean that they have the ability to do their work without um, uh, you know, really challenging legacy systems that colleagues really struggle with. With systems that work with and are orientated around their needs, um, simplicity, uh, the ability to 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 bring all of the information that we have together in one place, to be able to spend more time with providers, um, to reduce the amount of regulatory uh, uh, administration that we we've all been used to, um, and and actually delivering a new single assessment framework and seeing that land in the real world and seeing the difference that makes to the public that will be able to see a much more up to date picture of the quality of care. And it's something we can iterate and build on and improve over time. Um, so I'm really excited to see how this all comes together. And, uh, you know, I've, I've, I've been particularly impressed with working with our regulatory colleagues over the last uh, last couple of years around this and you know, starting right with the emergency support framework and uh, the, you know, two and a half years ago now and seeing how colleagues have kind of embraced the technology and said yeah, this is great and I, I want more of this um, and this is this is now where we're going to be able to really support our colleagues with some really exciting tech and really exciting new ways of working so I'm really looking forward to how that pans out over the course of the next the next few months. Mm -hmm.